Today let us introduce our this DC system as fault detector. The left is the signal generator box and the right is the accessory box. It contains signal receiver, a receiving clamp, the receiving clamp, power cord, test line, battery and fuses. Now let us look how to turn on the signal receiver. As you can see in the video, keeping long pressing cannot turn it on. We should just click the button and it will be turned on normally. Then connect our receiving clamp to enter the device's test interface. Now let us introduce how to use our this DC system as fault detector. It is suitable for any voltage level test. Equipped with high precision receiving clamp, through the efficient analysis of a variety of signals, the detection range and anti-interference ability are greatly improved. By using advanced algorithm and fuzzy control calculation theory, the superiority degree of the measured insulated branch is expressed in the form of numbers. It greatly embodies the superiority of artificial intelligence, can both perform live and non-live detection. Now let us see how to connect the wire. Insert the red end of the test line into the red port of the signal generator and the black into the black port. Use the red clamp on the other end of the test line to connect the other end of the test line to a branch circuit. Use the black clamp on the other end of the test line to connect the ground keep well grounded. Make it form a loop circuit. Let's take a look at this circuit. One circuit is divided into three branches. One is directly connected to the ground. Another one is not grounded. Now we turn on the signal generator. After connecting the power cord, press down the red button. At this time, we first use signal receiver and a receiving clamp. Insert the A receiving clamp into the A port on the signal receiver. Press the button on the signal receiver to turn on the signal receiver. Then use the A receiving clamp to clamp the three wires. Please wait a few seconds, let us see the testing result. The test result comes out and it shows 1. The test results are divided into 19 grays, 1 is the smallest and 19 is the largest. A larger test value indicates that the line is properly grounded. A smaller test value indicates that there is a ground fault. Now we can confirm that there is a ground fault in at least one of the three wires. Use the B receiving clamp to test the wire one by one. Connect the B receiving clamp to B port on the signal receiver. The first wire testing it shows 19, no fault. The second while testing it shows 1, there is a fault. The third while testing it shows 19, no fault. Please note that our clamp is directional and must point to the test object when do the testing. Now the testing is over, thanks for your watching. Thank you for watching the tutorial video prepared by HV High Port Tester.